Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's time. Welcome back to Fears to Fathom. I have been so excited for this. Dude, Fears to Fathom is very quickly becoming one of my favorite horror series. These games are just phenomenal. Basically, if you're new around here, if you've never seen one of these games before, these are games that are based on true stories. What happens is people who have been through traumatic events, they submit their stories to this developer, Rail, and he turns them into horror games. We then get to play through each episode. We get to pretty much experience what happened as if we were there. We get to see how it unfolds, everything that happens, as well as all the different ways that it could go tits up. <laughs> it started with a kid who was home alone for the weekend, just doing some homework, and someone broke into his house, and he had to figure out how to escape. The second episode we played as a girl who had to stay in a motel overnight because her car broke down. While she was at the motel, she was stalked, she was drugged, she had her room broken into, all in the space of one night. And then the third episode, Carson House, easily the scariest one so far. We play as a young man called Noah and he's house-sitting someone for the weekend. His psycho ex-girlfriend finds out that he's at the house, breaks into the house and tries to kill him. That has been fears to fathom so far and now we got this brand new one iron bark lookout we're gonna get into this and another thing i really like about these games is each new episode that comes out and this is absolutely props to the developer each one that comes out is bigger and better and scarier than the last that being said each new one that comes out they also seem to get longer and uh <laughs> If you thought Carson House was long, then all I can say is saddle up, my friend, because this one is two hours long. We're gonna be here a while. Grab yourself a drink, grab some snacks, get yourself settled in. Let's play Iron Bark Lookout. New game. Here we go. Oh, I'm so excited for this, man. May 12th. Hey, I noticed you were requesting story submissions while I was watching a YouTuber play Fears to Fathom Carson House. What I'm about to recount happened when I was 24 or so at the time. Feels kind of weird telling anyone about this because of the bizarre and absurd nature of the whole thing. But I feel like doing so might help me process my memories of it. I knew sharing this story anywhere else would be a dumb idea because people would say I was lying. As I'm writing this... This was the scariest experience of my life. I'm Jack Nelson, had a small job as a park ranger in a state park. I was a fire lookout stationed in one of the largest forests in the Pacific Northwest. Miles and miles of dense forests managed by the forestry service. I had a salary that allowed me to make ends meet, but I couldn't afford to treat myself to restaurants, nice clothes, etc. My biggest accomplishment so far was being able to buy an RV for myself with a lot of financial help from my dad. That RV was the only sense of home I had at the time. This one time I was transferred from one outpost to another because of some official circumstances. It was a minor inconvenience to me, though since I lived out of my RV and liked traveling. I said a few goodbyes and I was off to the new location. It was about a two hour drive. Oh, is that going to be what the whole episode is? Just driving there? Oh, that's it. That's that's the that's the synopsis. Oh, we're back in driving again. Well, hey, listen, can this car not break down like the last one? Oh, let's go. God, it feels so good to be playing Fears to Fathom again. Hey, Lee, you know we don't. You know we don't be reading the text while we're driving. I'm gonna bloody hell. Let's have a look at these messages. So we got Mitch Scott and we got Kayla Nelson. I don't know who these people are supposed to be. You passed Roseburg yet? No, why? Uh... Okay, so this Mitch Scott seems to be... He's going to be at the location that I'm going to. Maybe he's my new boss or my supervisor or something. And maybe Kayla Nelson's the missus. No. Well, he said his name's Jack Nelson. No, Kayla Nelson's probably the sister. Unless it's the wife. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to try and jump the gun. Listen. Felt like I was at home in the woods. Kayla, I'm driving. I always think there's got to be, like, there must be a real sense of peace when you, I don't mean, we don't really have RVs over here. Like, you get people who live out of motorhomes, but even then, I feel like it's not that many people who do it. I imagine there's got to be a real 
kind of sense of peace with doing that. I saw the diner, Kayla was... Oh, are we supposed to be... Well, I didn't want to read the messages while I was driving. Missed the diner at first. Wait, why don't we just turn around? We can reverse. It's all right. Three-point turn. We got this. Come on. Uh, please don't crash into me. I'm trying to execute a... I hope the salary's going to pay for that. Yeah, yeah, we're just... It started off as a three-point turn. It's turned into a 23-point turn. Here we go. I think I'm trying to say there must be, like, a certain piece about not being tied to any one location, just being able to come and go as you please, and... Music. Okay, we're going to get up. We're going to... Yeah, this is, uh... Let's have a look at the RV. It's, uh... I can't read that. I like it in here. Oh, we don't need this, I don't think. We can leave that there. Got a beer bottle. Alright, okay. I like it. It's uh, not a bad little gaff. Let's go. Don't mind my terrible parking. <laughs> Let's read these messages. I remember there's this diner. Have the best burgers in town. Got you. See, I didn't know that because I was being a responsible driver. And I wasn't trying to, you know, I wasn't trying to crash any more than I needed to. Which apparently was at least three or four times. I love a good diner though. Let's get in there. Hell yeah. Hold on. Big sip of tea. It seems like there's a nice little vibe in here. Hey there. Welcome to Twin River Diner. How are you doing today? Yeah, good. How about you? Feel free to take any seat you like, and I'll be right with you. Oh, I appreciate it. What are we thinking? Um, I feel like I'm the kind of guy I would go right up the far end. Yeah, I'd go right up here. We're going to peep this menu. Good evening. I'm Barbara. Are you ready to order? Yeah, sure. Why not? What can I get for you today? Cheeseburger with fries, grilled cheese sandwich with onion rings, meatball sub with chicken. We're going to go with the cheeseburger and fries, I think. With a strawberry slush. Uh, that'll be all, thank you. Bring the food out as soon as it's done. Let me know if you need anything else. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. I always had this habit of peeing before eating. Okay, well, let's go and tend to that. And yeah, some of us got weak bladders out here. I'm one of them, don't worry. I heard a great quote once. If you drink a gallon of water a day, then you won't have to worry about anyone else's problems because you'll be too busy peeing. Stay hydrated. Are we going to have the machine gun? Oh yeah, there it is. Get the old sound effect in there. <laughs> Bro, look like this dude need a bit of hydration. Holy shit, that's almost brown. Nice, okay. Remember to flush. Not an animal. Wash the old hands. Drying. Oh, doing the whole bit. Whole kit and caboodle. All right. Let's go. Cool. Let's uh, go and sit back down. Patiently wait for my food. I have your papers. Just bring ID. Oh, my food's here. Okay. Sorry, Mitch. is going to have to wait. Cheeseburger's calling. Oh, I like the look of this. Got all the sauces as well. Damn. That looks like a halfway decent burger. I mean, you can't go wrong with an American diner. You really can't. I always eat the burger first. That's the best bit. If there's anything that I don't want to, that I'm quite happy to not finish, it's, it's the fries. Get the old drink down. I'll be with you shortly, Kayla. Strawberry slushy's got my name on it. Or Slurpee. Nice. Okay. What are you saying, Kayla? You end up going, how was it? Still here, still eating. This is so good. You enjoy the food? It was amazing. Would like to have anything else? Uh, no, nah, I'm good with the check. We should probably get on with it. Why are you just walking on the spot like that? Heard of the running man. Definitely haven't heard of the walking woman. Uh, 50% tip? Good God. See, uh, you got this whole culture about tipping in the US, don't you? Where it's like, it's really frowned upon if you don't tip. I mean, I like, 
Listen, I'll tip if the service was good. I'll give her a 15%. I ain't giving her 50%. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that was one thing I found kind of jarring when I last went over there anyway. I mean, generally, a lot of the places I went to eat, like the staff are really friendly and all that, but they like have this thing. It's really frowned upon if you don't tip. I mean, do you know what? i tell you what tends to happen over here. It's not so much that it's frowned upon if you don't tip. What they'll do is they'll bring your check and they'll like slide the tip on there and hope that you don't notice. They'll be like, oh, optional service charge. We've just charged it, you know, without, you know, even though it's optional, we just kind of put it on there. And then you have to like awkwardly ask them to take it off. They probably dine out on that. No pun intended. Anyway, let's get my big RV, which is now moderately damaged. Let's get back on the road. 8.02 p.m. Well, this is looking very foresty, so maybe we're close. I want to include the location of this park. But I don't want anyone seeking out the utter horrors I've seen in these woods. Oh, damn. Are we going in here? Possibly? Looks kind of like it. Maybe. I don't know. Let's pull in here for the moment. Um, let's jump out. I already don't like the atmosphere around here. Ironbark State Park. Well, the game's called Ironbark Lookout, so either this is where I'm supposed to be or I'm playing the wrong game. Might in here. What? You son of a... Bro, it's been so nice up to this point, man. <laughs> Welcome back to Fears to Fathom. <laughs> Holy moly. You, you, I, yeah, really? I scared you. I thought you were one of them. One of who? May Lord have mercy. Anyway, can I see your permit, please? You're Billy, right? Maybe? I'm the new transferred fire lookout? Oh my god. Is this even the guy that I'm looking for? Let me check on that. What? Who? Who is that? Did you see that out the window? Nah, they're already playing around, man. They already pl Nah. Okay, pal, you're good to go. You're staffed at Fire Tower 11. I apologize for the confusion. And the jump scare. I was under the impression that the tower would have... Would be left unstaffed for the season, but here are your keys. Well, I, you're welcome. Let me open the trail gate for you. Okay, so we've got the key to the tower. What's this? Missing person? Miss... Since you're arriving this late, you might also need this flashlight for the lot... The lo I was gonna say, Tower 11 sounds like it's a mile away. Thank you, Billy. You be careful. Take this. He didn't really answer my question. Welcome to Ironbark, pal. Now, for our purposes, when you get to your tower, be sure to make your first weather report from your system, just so we know you clocked in safely. If need be, you can reach out to Tower 12 during your staffing. Nice enough guy. He'll be your closest contact in case of any emergency. Thank you, Billy. Now, what's up with these... Hey. Just a piece of advice. Don't travel any further than half a mile or so north of your town. Why? Dangerous woods that way, pal. Bobcats and bit. Bobcats and bullshit. What's out there? Nasty bit. See you around, Billy. Thought he was trying to scare me, but he looked dead serious. Yeah, and like, we've got missing person posters here. So that's good. He said, don't venture more than half a mile. I left my... Oh, Christ. Left my bag in the RV. All right, all right, all right. Don't venture half a mile north of your tower. See, it's like, I already know you're going to make me at some point. There's going to be like, oh, you're going to have to go and... There's going to be something. There's going to be like one of these, like... There's going to be a generator go down or something. And I'm going to have to go out there and it's going to be... 
like three quarters of a mile. All right, let's head to the tower. Hey, thanks, Billy. Appreciate the first jump scare. I'm sure it'll be the first of many. Oh, we're going. I was going to say, you ain't going to make me walk all the way there, right? I'm taking a sip now while I can. 11.32 p.m. How long have we been walking? What in the... Long hike starting to get cold. Tower 11. Here we go. Here we go. What would happen if I was to just run off into the woods? Lacey Trail. Yeah, we're going for Tower 11. That's what we're doing. Living in a fire tower is not a glamorous job. Imagine being out here alone for weeks at a time. It's not for everyone. Yeah, nah. With a shitty little portaloo at the bottom. Nah, it couldn't be me. Always had a fondness for the outdoors. See, what sucks is this is like, it's a one-way trip up here. One way up, one way down. Here we are. I guess this is home. At least for the moment. Got my little bed. The bag on there. We got a light in here somewhere. Oh, for cr Already? I'm... Let's go turn the generator on. I suppose it makes sense. They wouldn't just leave the generator running. Generator. I'm gonna turn this thing on. Wicked. Okay. I can see that thing getting switched off once or twice. That maybe is tower 12. I mean, this park is huge. God damn. That's got to be Tower 12. Lights. Brilliant. Okay. Shut that door. I'm going to keep the torch on me. Uh, so first thing I have to do is a weather report. Radio equipment sitting on a wooden table. Oh my good God. What am I doing here? Uh... Starting Rainbow 98. Password. Good question. Check the Iron Bark rules flyer. Okay. Lights out after 12 p.m. Supply drops are handed out every Sunday. Absolutely no guests in the lookout. Damn it. System password is Iron Bark. And then tower number. Refuel the generator routinely. Update the reporting software routinely. No video games in the system. Remember to call your sister tower, your sister station before you sleep. Okay. Well, we're probably going to be sleeping soon, I would imagine. So wait, it's uh, Ironbark12 is our password, I'm pretty sure. Uh, uh, yeah, can we actually... Iron... Wait, I spelled that wrong. Iron Bark 11. Uh, excuse me. Are we in? This ancient, decrepit ass operating system. Here we go. Hello there, it's Smiley, your trusty virtual assistant. Here to help you make the most of your computer today. What's on your mind today? How can I assist you? Okay. Uh, let's have a look at a few things. So, we want to do service reporting. Welcome to state-of-the-art service reporting software developed by... Hello? New guy. I haven't gotten your name yet. What is it again? Damn, the voice acting. Who is this? I'm Connor. Fire Tower 12. Thought so. Saw your light turn on. Just wanted to make sure. Uh... Thought I was going to be alone out here. Sounds slightly less creepy than the other option. You're never alone in these woods. I've had to cover your area until you arrived. Oh, thank you. So what is it? What? Your name? Oh, Jack. Anyways, what brings you to this towering paradise of ours? Uh, just looking for a change. I'm a transfer from Iron Horse. An experienced comrade. I can see why Mitch picked you. I'm really tired. <laughs> No. Get her lit. The temperature is about to plummet. You don't want to sit 
the storm shivering. Got you. Okay. I saw matches. Matches over here. I this thing. I don't see the smoke. Did you light it up? Yeah, I'm 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 getting it. Yeah, um, firewood. What's this? What's the beeping? Hello? Why is it beeping? There's no firewood. There must be plenty in the shack. That's all Marley did. Marley? The staffer who was in the lookout before you. Yeah? She was one gritty woman. Anyways, you better get that fire going. You don't want to sit through the storm. Gasoline must be in your cabin. But if not, you can always grab your supplies from the storage shack. Right. Oh. Okay. Interesting. Let's go down to the storage shack. There's got to be some firewood down here. Oh, the atmosphere. This one's... I mean, the, pl plenty of wood there. Storage shack. Yep, here we go. I mean, I've got this sort of stuff upstairs, so this will do me for the moment. We'll just take it one objective at a time. I don't like the atmosphere here. It's making me feel very uneasy. Here we go. Matches. Oh, shit. Well, there's a bit of gasoline there. Give me the match. Yeah? We good? There we go. I see the smoke. Cool. Nice to see Tower 11 alive again. Hey. Did you report for the night yet? No, I will do that. That'll be my next port call. Um, do you know what they're going on the bed? There you go. Let's report. Did you report for the night yet? No, I'm going to do it. You better get to it then. Here at Iron Bark, you are required to report every night before signing off. Got you. You don't want to disappoint Mitch on your first night. <sighs> Couldn't think of anything worse. Okay. So, temperature and Fahrenheit. Not the slightest clue. Absolutely no idea. Am I supposed to just know? I haven't assisted any hikers today, so that's a big zero. Wait, measure weather conditions with the provided equipment and... Oh, really? Oh, I'm going to have to actually go out there and... Hang on. What's th this? Oh, this measures the wind, I think. Okay. Okay. 18 knots. All right. Fair enough. So we can fill that part in. 18. Temperature in Fahrenheit. How does one go about doing this? Is there another piece of equipment? Is it down in the goddamn supply shed? There's going to be another piece of equipment down the supply shed, isn't there? That's going to be what tells me the temperature. Welcome to Ironbark State Park. If you're watching this... Jack Septicai? Love it. Nice. Let's continue. This video, then let me be the first to say... Congratulations! You have been commissioned by the Ironbark Fire Department to protect one of the most prestigious parks in the state of Washington. Established in 1897, Bro. we have been known He's as got one of green the hair safest parks in America. Yeah. We hope you can keep it that way for many years to come. This training video will ensure that you work to the best of your abilities. You have been selected as one of our fire lookout observers. I just want to know how this to take the temperature. This is a truly rewarding job which requires many hours of hard work. You will be working in our state-of-the-art lookout towers. And the following is a list of responsibilities you will have. Keep watch for fire. Fire isn't going to be noticeable all of the time. So also keep watch for smoke. Make sure to know what color the smoke is. It may be crucial information. Fires are best stopped before they spread out of hand. Keep records of daily temperature. When the temperature rises, it is best that we have those recorded. 
the science nerds at the Panoramic Preservation Society require us to note all changes in temperature. We think it's best not to get into a lawsuit. Keep records of daily wind speed. Wind is a big factor when it comes to fire. Use the anemometer to scientifically gather the data. After collecting the data, input it into our state-of-the-art service reporting form. This is a highly complicated form, often used by NASA employees. So don't be too ashamed if you can't figure it out at first. You have the privilege of using such a form. I feel a little bit better about Keep it now. Keep campers out of unregistered campgrounds. The campers might start a campfire which could lead to a wildfire. <sighs> they will not always listen to authority, so take precaution when escorting them. Make sure to note whether the person is a threat. If you're worried about your safety, do not hesitate to dial 911. Keep maintenance of the park. Make sure the park is kept clean. We have a status to uphold. Now that you know most of the duties that a fire lookout has, you're ready to start. We hope that you have a great season out there on the tower. Try not to damage any of the equipment. And remember, if you see smoke, don't joke. Call the authorities and notify them of the predicament immediately. Nice slogan. Wait. Nice. <laughs> Did I just get an achievement called Top of the Morning? Nice. Okay, so there's a thermometer somewhere. Somewhere in this shithole, there is a thermometer that's going to tell me the temperature. Is what I gather from that. There's no... Be honest, this is why you watch. Oh my god, we're done. Finally. Hey, copy, new guy. Yeah, 2,000 years later. Tower 11 copy. I think I'm gonna sign off for the day. Yeah. Tower 12, signing off. You have a good night, new guy. You too, whatever your name was. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow. Can I sign off as well? Or submitted. Good. So that's done. Can I now kind of sign off for the night? 326. Oh. It's one of these ones. Unintelligible. Oh, God. Oh, dear. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. What? Connor? No. No, we're getting nowhere with this. I still had to... Bro, are you serious? I gotta pee? Man, of all the times to have a weak bladder... Close the door. I mean, I can... Wait. Being here alone was somewhat unsettling. Why can't I go down the stairs? Oh, pee. Oh. I'm just gonna pee? Like. What, just. Wait, what the hell? Hang on. Oh, I'm literally just going over the side of the tower. Fair enough. I guess so. I can even aim it. Look at this. Way. Sorry if anyone's down there. A golden shower coming your way. Bet you didn't see that on the weather forecast. I uh, yeah, let me just get my ass in here. Back to bed. Yeah. Back to sleep. Oh, can it be daytime? Please. Night two. We got multiple days. Bro, look at this. Oh, it looks like some hot chocolate. Mate, you get some of this tea. Oh, glorious. Are we saying get the day started? New guy, do you copy? Yep. This is Connor from Tower 12. Do you copy? What's up, man? 
How are you doing, Connor? Tower 11, do you copy? Right here. Son of a bitch. Excuse me? Nobody bothers to get a camping permit these days anymore. Oh, what's happened? You have eyes on the smoke north of your position. Let me have a look. Ooh, boy. Smoke north of the position. I see it. Yeah, I got eyes. I need you to confirm. You yep. I see it, Connor. I'm on it, I'm on it. You spot that white smoke up north? I see it. It appears to be in the lazy trail sector, which is not a registered campsite. I see. People like that don't bother to clean up after themselves. Right. The fire risks are high this season. Am I checking it out? Um... Is it safe? Be alert. Carry your bear spray, and you should be fine. Oh, that's bear spray. Okay. Stay safe out there. Don't forget to carry your bear spray in these woods, dude. Yeah. Over and out. Bears. <laughs> oh, we're talking a whole new kind of threat. This is the bear spray. The one guy said, don't go more than half a mile north of... He said, don't go more than half a mile north of my thing. Can I take this as well? I can take them both. Okay, good. I'm going to take them both. Just belt and braces. Just play it safe. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, I guess we're... Uh... I guess we're heading towards the smoke. Got the bear spray at the ready. Oh, bro, now I'm scared that I'm going to run into a bear. Uh, Lacey Trail. Yeah, okay. So as long as we've got signposts, then... Then I'll manage. Caution. Be oh, shit. Please don't... Don't start sending bears after me. 8.37 p... Already? Bro! How long have I... Go. We're not hanging around. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Here is the, uh... Yeah. Oh, we got signal here. Hope everything's okay. I can hear someone whistling. There's a machete. Can I take that? Hello? Had to put it out. I didn't bring a fire extinguisher. Bugger. But there is a bucket. Hands are full. No, don't drop the bear spray. Keep the bear spray. No, no, no. I can't carry them both. You've got to be shitting me. I can't carry the bucket and the bear spray. Oh, no. Oh, that's bad. That is bad. Don't count that fire. Hello? Bro, someone is over there. God. I don't like this. Don't like this. Don't like this one bit. Was this all I was supposed to do? Was just put out the... Did they want me to do anything else other than just put out the fire? The whistling stopped. Okay. We're just gonna... We're gonna head back. We're gonna head back. I'm gonna go back to my tower. I put the fire out. Hello. Hey, I got my bear spray, motherfucker. Don't you... I just... The fattest chill just went down my spine. As I hiked back to my tower through the dark, I couldn't shake the sense that something was terribly wrong. My mind couldn't help but think what might have happened. What do you mean? Oh. See, now, now it's starting to get real. Back to the tower. Back to the tower. Back to the tower. Yep. Ready on the bear spray. Do 
generator still seems to be fine. I thought I could hear something. Back up in my tower. Everything okay up here? Okay. That's a report to Connor about the vacant campsite. I don't think it was vacant. I could quite clearly hear someone whistling over there. Dude, am I tripping or can I still hear it? Bro, I swear I'm not a dickhead. I can still hear the whistling. Someone's followed me. Connor, do you copy? Connor! Loud and clear, new guy. I was just cooking myself some hot. Well, yeah. are you kidding me? Yeah, let's talk about this. Son of a bitch. Yep. They never learn, do they? What do you mean? I'm sick of these bastards. It's unbelievable. What, what? I... This is the third time this month alone. Bro. Anything else you notice in those woods? Mention scream, yeah. Mm -mm -mm. They sound pretty much like a screaming lady. No, it? it weren't no lady. I don't know what you're talking about, new guy. But I heard from the rangers that a lot of campers have been flocking to that area lately because of the disappearance of those three kids. They're the missing posters that we saw at the beginning. About a month ago, they were hiking with their families. They went off the trail and just vanished. No trace of them since. Do we know what happened? We don't know. Yeah, they get to go home at the end of it. They ain't, they ain't fucking work here. Sometimes, I only wish they were true. I, I hate having this conversation while I can still hear the whistling. At least now you know why Mitch had to staff Tower 11 urgently. <laughs> Glad to be of service. Great. Anyways, thanks for staying vigilant. I gotta contact the authorities so they can take care of this commotion first thing in the morning. We can't tolerate these goons anymore. If they find them, I'll personally make Again. Keep me updated, please. Will do. Over and out. I can still hear them. I can fucking still hear it. That you can't tell me that you can't hear that. Oh yeah, we got no signal. Big whoop. Don't care. I'm all pressing Matt as a hand right now. Okay, we got to do the. Uh... I don't really want to go to bed, but like, fucking hell. Service reporting. Um, yeah. Is it kind of too early to... I was too hungry to go to bed. Okay, I need food. Food, okay. Okay, we can make food. We can make food. What do we feel like making? What do we want to make? Um, oh, pepperoni. Oh, that's what... That's what Kayla was telling me about. The pizza pasta bait. Got you. Oh, she's even giving me instructions. Nope. Let's bake beans. Bake beans. Nope. Don't know what that is. Looks like mince. Nope. Mozzarella. You can go in there. Can't even throw the stuff back in, can I? Nope. It won't even go back in. There we go. Dice tomatoes. There we go. You guy. You there? Yeah, I'm here. What's you up, guy. Connor? Connor, I copy. What's good? What is it? Yep. What do they say? Don't worry. The Forest Service Agency will take care of it first thing in the morning. First thing in the morning ain't gonna cut it, Connor. Hope they can track them down and give them peace of their mind. They are outside my tower right now. I'll keep an eye on things from here. You stay vigilant for such smoke moving forward. Yeah. Speaking of duty, I don't see your name here. Did you report for the night yet? I was just getting to it. Better get to it. Mitch didn't sound to be in a very good mood today. Tell you what, I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I know it's been a tough day, but you're doing an excellent job up there. Thank you, Connor. Thank you for your help. Go over 12, signing off. Good night, Connor. Let's do all the temperature shit. 49.8. Weather out there is looking... I mean, let's get the wind thing real quick.
21. It's windy out here tonight. 49.8. Uh, 21 knots. Didn't really assist any hikers today. It's kind of windy. Jack Nelson. Wasn't sure if I thought... Really? Clear? No? Missed? Cloud? Okay, cloudy. I, I thought it seemed kind of windy. Oh. I liked eating in bed. We can eat in bed. We can eat this whole thing. How hungry are you? I can still hear the whistling. I'm so paranoid. You were already full. I'm not surprised. That was a big old dish. We'll put the rest of it in the fridge. You know, <laughs> along with the rest of the stuff. Do I have to shut all the blinds? Oh, get the stove lit. No. I'm going to have to go down and get firewood. Shit. Oh. Uh, Oh, I'm going to have to go down and get firewood. Oh, no. Oh, no. Hey, there's an axe there. I'm just saying, there's a there's a perfectly good axe sitting right there. Can I... I mean, I could take the bear spray. It's definitely not a bear down there, but I can't imagine being sprayed with this shit is particularly pleasant. No, but then I'm not... I can't, because then I'm, I'm not going to be able to carry it back up. I'm not going to be able to carry the firewood, but for fuck's sake. Fine. 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 Just me and the torch. Oh, God. Okay, here we go. Here we go. I feel like... Oh, we could be heading for a possible death scenario here. Please don't kill me! <laughs> Go. Get up there. Get up there. Now. 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 Don't mind the voice crack. Don't mind the voice crack. We're going. We're going. We're going. We're going. <sighs> that was a... Grab and dash that was. You up here? You just... You watch yourself, player. Right. That'll do. As good as it's gonna get. Light it up. Okay, do you know what? They never end up in the right place. Let's put them... Yeah, that'll do. Can we go to bed now? I have to close the boards out. Fuck. Okay. Now, this is where I'm gonna get the bear spray. This is where I get the bear spray. You just... So nerve-wracking. Alright, that's it. That is all of it. I got the bear spray, mate. Don't you even see it? Yeah? I don't know exactly what bear spray is made up of, but it can't be nice. Alright. Get to bed. <laughs> Dude, here we go. Half two in the morning. What now? Someone's up here. I was walking by the... Someone's up here. Oh! Where's the bear spray? Get the bear spray! You see that? I can see him. Right there. Yeah? You want to catch a spray, yeah? See, the fridge hasn't sorted itself out just yet. Hide. 
Where am I hiding? Why am I supposed to be hiding? Fuck is this? Oh. All right, Connor. Don't mean to wake you up. At two in the morning. Connor, wake up. Do you copy? Urgent. Hello. Do you have any idea what yes, time it is? I do. There's something outside my door. No. I don't think these are kids messing around. No. No. I'm not We're getting. In the of and someone has been following me all day, climbed to the top of my goddamn fire tower, put a skull outside my door. You need to get your ass here now. No! Now! For now, just lock your door, take a deep breath, and try to get some rest. We can't do much in the dark. Yes, we can. We can grab a torch and an axe, and we can defend ourselves. Try to get some sleep, Jack. Over and out. No, he didn't make war. What if Connor's in on it? I'm taking the bear spray to bed. That shit's going under my pillow. Night three. Next day I woke up, not being so sure if last night was real or just a dream. Connor tried to reason it is a harmless prank by some kids. There's something about that night that just felt darker. There's something strange happening in these woods. Dude, there's like, it's probably like a cult or something like that. That seemed very kind of, that seemed very uh, ritualistic. Is that the word? Oh, what's up with the... Yes, clean these. Hold on. Clean them, clean them, clean them, clean them. How'd these get so dirty? My paranoia for these woods only grew after last night. Okay, so what are we going to do this time, Jack? I'll tell you what we should do. We should hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no Hello? more, no Is more, no there? more. Hit the road, Jack. I need help. Oh, you need help Please. now? Someone answer. Oh, is that... Oh, that's not Connor, is it? That's, uh... I was about to say, Connor, you can go fuck yourself, but I don't think that's Connor. Hello? Can anyone hear me? Hear you loud and clear. Oh, thank goodness. Uh, I'm lost, and I'm I'm really starting to freak out. Let me guess, you want me to go deal with it? I I don't even know where to start. I, I went out to explore the area and lost track of time. Why did you do that? That's gone cold. And now it's dark, and I can't remember the trail back to my truck. Oh my god. I think... I think I'm lost. What equipment do you... Mm, can you describe your clothing? Or... Mm, uh, uh, what do I ask? What is your current location? Uh, I'm in the middle of the woods. On this trail surrounded by trees. No shit. Uh, everything looks different at night. You're in the middle of the woods, on a trail surrounded by trees. Thanks for clearing that one up, Chief. That really narrows it down. I thought shooting a few flare gun shots might get someone's attention, but no one's come yet. I didn't even All know anything about that. All I did was light up the trees and make everything look even scarier. I just want to find a way out of here. Can you just... How does it say? Can you describe your surroundings? You say, oh, there's trees. Do you remember any landmarks? I, I remember passing a small stream earlier. Which direction are you facing right now? I'm walking towards west right now because I remember walking east when I came here. Cool. Oh, thank goodness. I see it. See what? I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Let me scan the map and get back to you. Oh my god, I'm having to do this shit?
Wait, so where the binoculars at? Blah, 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 blah. Threw it off the tower. Threw what off the tower? The fuck did you throw off the tower? Uh, hello? I don't know. I don't. Bro, I don't know where uh, you are. are. Are you still there? Both of these trails seem pretty. Uh, I'm just so. I, dude, I don't know. I don't have the binoculars. I'm at a trail intersection now, but I can't remember if I should take the right trail or the left to get back to the trailhead. Can you help me? Take the right trail. I'm going to be honest. I had my suspicions on the left trail, but if you say so, right one it is. I just got this guy killed. I couldn't have trusted myself with this decision. <laughs> Thanks for helping me through this. I hope you reach back to the trailhead safely. What do you mean? I hear you. I hear your whistles. That's not me. That's not me. What? what? That's not me. See you, be you, you freaking me out. Fucking hide. Hide. Wait, I've got the binoculars. No. I didn't think I had the binoculars. Fuck. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I'm going to have to answer that, aren't I? I'm going to have to answer that. I've got the bear spray. Hands will fall. I've got the bear spray! Bro, I was assisting a lost hiker. At this hour, may the god be merciful. Why do you keep saying that? Got your tower supplies here, just the usual essentials. Thank you. What were you doing there last night? What do you mean? Up north, why were you there? I was investigating the campfire smoke. This guy. This, this, this guy. Nasty business up there. I had to do it. Bobcats and, but yeah, so you said. You be careful out there. Not to mention you'd be quite a distance from anything, from help, if anything. Oh, God. Been hearing you've been a bit on the edge. Everything all right? No. No. Mention the skull. Oh, Lord have mercy. Did you take a photo of it before cleaning it up? No. You know it's best we don't dwell on these things, pal. Besides, we can't do anything without the evidence. It's getting late. Best be Thanks for the supplies. Oh. Oh, God. There's some kind of cult. In these damn woods. I don't even know what's in here. That's my bear spray. Need that. Not forget that. I think I got that one guy killed. So 58.2. 26 knots. Number of hikers assisted. One. Uh, weather condition. Is it clear? No. No missed. I'm just going to scroll through them until, yeah. There we go. Connor, have you put in yours? Connor has not put in his. I'll bear that in mind. Connor hasn't put in his. Oh, we've done that. We've done this one. I mean, it's not that early. Too hungry to go to bed. Well, we got the leftovers. Yeah, let's get the old, uh... No, we're not heating up. Oh, microwave. There you go. There we are. Okay. So that was, um... I feel like I got that dude killed. What's up with the binoculars, though? Like... I thought I didn't have them, and then I went under the bed, and then I did have them. Like, I'm not really sure what happened there. We definitely got that dude killed. No doubt about it. Rest in peace, hiker, whoever you were. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Yummy! Well, you know the drill. 
No, I can't. I keep forgetting I can't take my fucking bear spray. Although, do I actually need... I do not... No, I don't need a torch. I'm taking the bear spray. I don't need a torch. I never use the damn torch anyway. All right, I don't hear any whistling right now. Anyone kicking it around here? Whoops. <laughs> Bro, that hit me so hard. I, like, threw my legs up in the air. Holy shit. Understand loneliness can make the mind play tricks on you. Who are you? No need to be alarmed. I'm a worker. I was just doing some routine maintenance on the radio tower over there. Thought I'd say hi. I thought I'd say hi, the new guy. Everyone's been talking. Okay. Do you usually work this late? Every Sunday... Just trying to keep the communication lines open. We must ensure that the right measures or the right message reach the right places. Wouldn't you agree? Uh, yeah, I agree. Sure. Some fires are meant to burn, and no amount of prevention can. Bro, again with the cryptic shit. Are you in the cult? What do you mean? Nature has its own plans. Some things can't be controlled, no matter how hard we try. That's true. Sometimes disasters are just another form of cleansing. A way for the land to purify itself. It's, it's, it's getting late. Have a good night, Jack. Hope you sleep well, but remember. Curiosity can lead to places you'd rather not go. Oh, I know. I know. You, you, uh, yeah, I ain't the curious one. Guy gave out the creepiest vibes. It's now just dawning on me as well that I can't even... I fucked up. I can't even take the firewood back up. It's either I come down here with the torch or I come down here with nothing. I can't have the, the bear spray and the firewood. So I'm going to have to take this back up because like hell am I leaving that down there. There's a spare one down there anyway. I've now got to go back for firewood, and I hope this doesn't get me killed, otherwise that's not going to be much fun. It was just a minor infraction game, not worth killing me over, wouldn't you agree? Give me that. Let's go. See, like, I'm, this has got me on edge. But I feel like shit ain't even really popped off yet. Not really. Like... This is a long episode. Like, we've got a long way to go. We're like, what? An hour and a half in? And I got stuck on that temperature bit for like 20 minutes. So, realistically, we're probably only like halfway through. I see the smoke coming out of your tower. Don't tell me you're not in there. I am in there. New guy. Yes. You there? Yes, I'm here. Were you even... What does that even mean? You copy now. Yeah. Right here. Finally. I've been trying to reach you for a while now. Where have you been? I ran into Silas downstairs. Ran into who? The nearby radio tower worker? That you're about to tell me doesn't exist? Bro, I know it is I know what's There is no Silas, is there? There's no radio tower worker called Silas who comes here every Sunday and pops his head in to say hi to the new guy that everyone's been going on about. You trying to yank my chain now? No. That radio tower's been out of service for ages now. <laughs> God. I knew it. Oh, no. It was down years ago after a lightning strike fried its system. Oh, <laughs> So who in the blue hell did I just talk to? Look, if what you're saying is true, it could be another one of those goons playing pranks on you. He knew my name. Knew your name? You think he's been listening? Possibly. Either way, disguising as a staff member is strictly forbidden according to 
park guidelines. Oh, what are you gonna do? Give him a timeout on the naughty step? Next time you see him, get his information or take a photo. We need to figure this out. I got this. Anyways, I'm seeing that you've already reported. I think I'm gonna hit the sack now. I definitely don't got this. Good night, Connor. Tower 12, signing off. Good night, over Report and out. out. I'm just like, dude, there's an axe in my tower. Can I not just like... I'd feel so much more comfortable if I could bring the axe. I will gladly swing on someone. I don't care. Like, if this is going to be a matter of life and death. Like, they got that same flipping killer out here from Killer Frequency. The Whistling Man, whatever he's called. Let's go sleep. Let me guess. Three in the morning? Two in the morning? Four in the morning? My unease was starting to grow with each passing day. When I signed off that night, I told myself it was just a change of environment that I needed getting used to. The strangeness I'd seen so far in the woods was not enough to cause any alarm. Speak for yourself. I would have been, I, bro, I would have been gone. I would have been in my RV. Sorry, mate. Here's my five minutes notice. I'm out of here. That would soon change. Okay, it's about to get worse. It's about to get. Two nights later. God, we're doing a big jump. It's about to get so much worse. 9.18 p.m. Oh, it's raining. Hey, you got a minute? Yeah, I've always got a minute. For you, Connor, anything. That's not what I meant to do. I wanted to talk to my boy. Wait. Uh, what's going on? Oh, my shit's glitched out. Fuck. I think I might have broken the game. There's a lot of chapters here. One week later. Eh? Time was... No, hang on, hang on. What the fuck? No, we've skipped way ahead. Time is flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his- No, 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 whoa, whoa, we haven't even got this far yet. You guy, you got a minute? Sure. Well, good news. Just heard from the HQ. They say we've got a new system update on the computer. Okay. They just wanted me to let you know. They say it's an important security update. No more snoopers, I guess. Uh... What is it about? Well, they say they've optimized the reporting software. Improved the communication system. And some much-needed security patches. Nice. If you ask, it all looks the same to my eyes. All right. I think I know how to update the computer. Well, to be honest with you, all this new technology—it's all right. Really I know. Thing. I know how to do it. I know how to do it. Dare I say it? These computers are probably going to take all our jobs one day. Yep. Anyways, for now, use the console to run the new system update. Mate, like ten years from now, there's probably going to be just AI-generated versions of me. You won't even need me anymore. I'm pretty sure I know how to do it. It's console, help, update. Please enter the update package code. Oh, okay, no, hang on. Let's uh, let's check update first. Package code 4346084. 4346084, nice. Wait. Serviceable lines, busy lines. Please enter an active line. Uh. 5487. Hey! Cool. Wait. Generator. Power's out. Where's the torch? Where's the torch? <sighs> oh, it's raining, it's pouring. Oh, fucking hell. Quick. Go on. Speed, P. Do really? Oh, I'm good at...
white. Bro, I'm gonna have to hide in there at some point. I'm gonna have to hide in there at some point. One week later. Okay, this is where we accidentally skipped ahead to. <sighs> Time was flying by. Connor's generator was under maintenance, which meant I had to cover his area for the past two days. When there were no fires going, the only thing I'd do is check in on Connor twice a day. That might have been the only time I ever talked, unless I was talking to myself. Oh, 2 a.m. We got another one. What is it, Connor? I know it's late, but you're going to want to see this one, Jack. Fuck. What is Jack. it? Jack, I need you to wake up. You copy? Yep, yeah, I'm... I'm, I'm, uh... I'm with you, Connor. What's going on? Jack, you copy? I'm right here, Connor. Okay, tell you what. I don't have the energy to do this right now. What happened? I've been here busting my ass, working on that old piece of garbage generator. Yep. And now I'm seeing this. What? I'm seeing more smoke to my west. Looks like we got another camper. Oh, no. It appears to be in your sector. You see the campsite from your end? Let me have a look. I feel like shit's about to go absolutely insane. Connor, what? You know what? I don't have it in me to deal with this crap tonight. I'm gonna let you deal with this one. Bro. If they don't run away this time, take their photos and IDs. I'm not they taking the photos work. and IDs. Don't hesitate to call HQ for help. Oh. Come take me tomorrow morning. I'm gonna get some rest. If I'm alive. Where's the smoke? You said to the west. Is that it? Ooh. It's a cult. Take a photo of that. Zoom in all the way in. Grab a picture of- <gasps> Oh! No! Holy fucking shit! You gotta be kidding me. Oh my god. Hi. What? Let's go. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Oh, no, 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 no. We're running. We're running. I'm out here. What? Oh, no. Ah! <laughs> oh, there we go. We finally died. <laughs> Did I? Oh, was I supposed to hide in the portaloo?
maybe I was supposed to hide in the... Fuck, man. Now I see why this one's called Abandoned. Let's go. I have no idea where I'm going right now. We're running. We're running. This way. This way. This way. This way. Oh, I feel like we're not out of the woods yet. No pun intended. Oh, no! Let's go! Get in the RV. Get in the RV right now. Avi, 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 get in there! We're gonna have to hide somewhere. We're gonna have to hide somewhere. His adrenaline kicked in. His adrenaline kicked in what? Bro, it's never frozen again. How many times am I gonna break this game? His adrenaline kicked in. I hit the gas and drove to the nearest ranger cabin. Out of breath, I radioed in to alert the HQ. Look, Jack, we all get a little stir crazy out here. Mitch answered. God, I'm fucking sweating right now. Next morning, authorities allegedly ran a small investigation of the area, but of course, they met with no signs of misconduct. No one ever believed my story, dismissing it as a product of isolation. I mean, I, I'm no psychological expert or anything, but I'm pretty sure isolation doesn't kick your door in and chase you halfway across the woods. Just stick to looking out for fires, Mitch offered. Oh, you better not have gone back. Jack, if you went back, I'm going to be very disappointed. You need to, like I said, you need to hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back. No more, no more, no more, no more. However, that was the last time I ever set my foot in those woods. Good. You smart. I would have quit way sooner, just for the record. I mean, actually, I wouldn't have even taken that job in the first place. Like, I get the whole thrill of the outdoors thing, but... You ain't gonna get me doing that shit. Going out into the dark woods, investigating mysterious campfires and whistling noises? Nah, I'm cool. I'll, I'll stick to making my shitty YouTube videos, thanks. The unease still sits heavy in my stomach. Even though many years have passed, the experience still feels vivid in my memory. Didn't it say on the thing? This is from like 2002. This is like 20 plus years ago. So bro's gonna be like, what, in his mid 40s now? My family thought I was making this whole thing up which is really out of my character. The thing is, if something like this happens, like, there's really no way you can explain it to someone where it's gonna sound convincing. Like, unless you can literally show it to them in 4K. It just sounds like the plot of a video game. How meta is that? Real or not, after dark, these woods can become a haven for illegal activities. So if any of you plan on going camping soon, don't follow the whistles. You can hear any kind of whistling or anything going on, mate. You're going that way. Fucking Linford Christie pace. It's over.
It is done. Fears to Fathom, episode four. I don't even know what to say. Every time I play one of these games, I try to put myself in the shoes of the person who is in it. Like, I know that's kind of literally the point of the game. That's what we do. But I mean, like, mentally, I try to imagine, like, what it would be like. I don't think I would have survived any of these in real life. Like, I'm dead ass. I've said it before. I'll say it again. I'll say it until my dying day. In any horror film, I would be the first one dead. Zero chance of me being the final girl. But there you have it. That was Fears to Fathom, Iron Bark Lookout. Come on. That deserves a round of applause. That was insane. Like I said, what I love about these games is that each one is more ambitious than the last. Every new one that comes out, it's always longer than the previous one. It introduces new mechanics. However many of these you've played, however used to this formula you think you are, they're always going to add something new into the mix. This is the first time we've ever been chased in one of these, like literally chased. Like we actually had to run away. It's the first time I've had to hide in a portal -oo. And then you had all the different mechanics with how you fill in the reports and everything like that. And Rail, you did such a fantastic job. As you always do, building the atmosphere and the tension. And they really like lure you in with that sort of false sense of security where, you know, you go to a nice diner and then they have the whole thing where you sat out on your balcony with a cup of coffee in the morning, just sipping it, taking pictures of the landscape, and it's all nice and peaceful. And then five minutes later, it all goes to shit. Do I think this is the scariest one? To be honest with you, to be completely honest with you, I would place this one second. I would still, I think, Carson House was the scariest. But then I think a lot of that was just the nature of that specific story. Not to downplay this one like at all like what happened in this one was off the fucking chain i think i'd put this one in terms of how scary it is i think i put this one second behind carson house that being said um fifth episode is coming soon <laughs> we're not even done man but you know what i love that these games are fantastic i love how like i said i love how they get bigger and better each time and more ambitious you haven't played this game for yourself you gotta try it out these games are worth playing like they really are that's gonna be it from me um had a few issues recording this a few little technical things here and there the game did crash a few times yeah editing this is gonna be uh, a bucket of fun no idea how long it's gonna be um but i hope you've all enjoyed it i've really enjoyed playing this nice to get back on fears to fathom again and listen when episode five comes out you know i'll be here if you've enjoyed this episode feel free to like comment subscribe all that good stuff stay tuned for the next one and i'll see you next time